Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. And boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. <clears throat> so, concerns are growing when it comes to Savannah Marshall and Clarissa Shields. <laughs> because these two ladies are struggling. A struggling man to maintain their weight as they wait for the rescheduled fight. It's supposed to take place on 15 October. Now, if you've been sleeping underneath a rock and you weren't aware that the queen had passed away, and as a result, they had to reschedule the fight. They have, my understanding, a mourning period. And just out of respect, they decided to re reschedule the fight. And for those of you who are saying, kind of like, duh, trust me, there are people out here who have no idea what's going on in the world. But back to Savannah Marshall and Clarissa Shields, right? <clears throat> and to run around town is, these two are struggling to keep that weight down, and I can't blame them. Over here in America and over there in England, over here you got Kentucky Fried Chicken, you got Popeye's Chicken, you got all kind of, you got Zaxby's, you got all kind of places you can go and eat. And Clarissa Shields, she likes to eat a little Popeyes. And Savannah Marshall is the exact same, very similar. They just call it chicken and chips over there. That's damn same thing, fried chicken and french fries, right? In the Caribbean, we, we do, we call it the same thing, chicken and chips, right? So both of them like, they like to eat that kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying? You know, every now and then. But can you imagine what they're going through? You gotta, you gotta give them a little room to, to kind of, you know, to relax a little bit. They struggled and worked feverishly, man, to cut weight and get, uh, get down to the 160 pound limit. They both weighed in, they were under 160, okay? And then you reschedule the fight. What are they supposed to do? You expect them to continue dieting another 30 damn days? Cutting, cutting their water intake another 30 days? That, la that week prior to weighing is rough. So now they go out here, and my understanding is Shields walks around at about 190, 95 pounds. Savannah Marshall walks around about 190, 95 pounds, maybe even 200. Oh, my God. Oh, man. It's comical to me because I know what it's like to cut weight. And I would be in trouble. And I'm just being honest with you. If the day before I was scheduled to fight, I'm walking around. Cause I, 160, okay, back in the day, right? That's why I used to fight at 160, right? If I go in there and I win at 158, 160 or 159.5 right? or whatever the hell the weight is, right? And then they come back and tell me the fight tomorrow is canceled. And I got to wait like 30, 35 days to fight again? And I used to walk around at 200 pounds. Man, you know how hard that is? But you go there and you smell... You smell something, especially that fried stuff, man. That's what gets you. For me, it was the nut and butter cookies. I don't know if you guys know what that is. The nut and butter, butter cookies. Ah, uh, man, that shit was uh, my Achilles heel. But when it comes to Clarissa Shields and Marshall, it's just tough, man. It's tough. You know, you you, you drop that weight. Now you come back and you, you, you rehydrate. You're eating. And a couple weeks into it, you got to come back and, and, and rededicate yourself to get ready for the fight. Like, that, that is very hard to do, very frustrating. So if they go out there and they, uh, and they indulge a little bit in the ice cream, rice, whatever it is, loaded baked potato, the chicken, fish, whatever it is that they go out there and do, and they indulge in, right? It's okay if they get a little plump. It's okay if they get a little Roberto Duran. 
after the first Sugar Ray Leonard fight, it's okay. But my thing is, man, how it is I believe they're professionals, and they should have no problem getting that weight off of them for the rematch. But that motivation, man, you work all these months. Because for weigh, weigh-ins, weigh, a weigh-in is just a point, a, point, a point in time. That's all a weigh-in is, man. It's just a moment in time. It lasts how many seconds? That's what these guys are grinding for, for the most part, right? That's That weigh-in is like, <clears throat> that shit's 90% of the damn fight. If you if you miss that weigh-in, man, <clears throat> that's where you have problems. And your purse is affected or the fight gets canceled, depending on how much you you know you come in over, right? So that, that's 90% of the fight. That's the hard part. Once you make the weight, the other 10% is just making sure you Rehydrate properly. That's easy. That's all downhill. That's easy. The uphill battles get into that moment in time. But to see these guys work to get to that point, and now they're, they're sitting here now, and they have a team around them, they have people around them, and they have people trying to, you know, motivate them, inspire them, encourage them, keep their spirits lifted. You know, I, I get that. But, you know, it's it's tough because I know, I know, I don't care, man. If you've dieted and you get a cheat day, you go all out. On that cheat day, and these guys here, man, they 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 have more than one cheat day. My so my understanding is Shields is probably walking around about 174 pounds right now. Savannah Marshall's walking around about 175 pounds. So they put back on about 15 pounds. Now we know once they rehydrate, then that's probably you know they can easily put back on. You know, five pounds of water weight is nothing. But they can easily put back on 10, 15 pounds. Some guys put on 20 pounds. But for them, they're walking back around, my understanding, close to 180. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how this how this goes. But, man, I just think right now, it's, I, think, I think this is taken from the fight. I honestly do. I think the fight, uh, by this fight being rescheduled, I, I think some of the excitement is gone. I just do, man. Still want to see it, but it's not the same. Like, they got everybody's buy-in. Everybody for the last year. Now, we've been all riding that wave and just waiting for that wave to crash in the land. You know what I'm saying? To see what happens, what it impacts. And we got right there. But, you know, things happen. Life happens. And to now to try to regain that energy, to regain that excitement, for, for me, it's just not that easy. It's just not that easy. You know what I'm saying? I still want to see it, but... I know the, the 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 challenges that they're going through, you know, a lot of a lot of a lot of men and women in boxing, they refrain from sex too, when they're in training camp. Could you imagine, as a, a for them, and I believe I, th- I know Clarissa Shields likes men, Savannah Marshall. I really don't know, um, but could you, no matter what their sexual preference is, could you imagine suffering? not touching the forbidden fruit for, what, 8 or 12 weeks, right? Uh, if, if there's a person out there who can go without touching the forbidden fruit for 8 to 12 weeks, <laughs> you're a goddamn alien, okay? But if you go like that, get through the whole training camp, and then you come now and they tell you your fight's canceled, and they want you to push another 4 to 6 weeks, with not touching that forbidden fruit, I'm telling you, I would fail that test horribly. I don't give a damn, man. I'm gonna touch the forbidden fruit. And for these two, you know, it's the same thing. It doesn't matter if it's a man or a woman, you know, it's all the same shit. You know, they, I can only imagine how frustrating that is. And if they have decided to go out there and be romantic, man, you know, how's that gonna affect them going into the fight? You know, a lot of times people don't wanna talk about it, but we're talking about women now. But it, it's athletes, okay? Let's just look at it as athletes. Don't look at it as the man and the woman. It's athletes. That shit affects you, man. All right? So we'll, we'll see. We'll see how they perform. But, uh, again, it's a lot, a lot of things that can affect their performance going into that ring. And these are real issues, man. They're human. They're human, man. They're not robots. But just the, the whole idea of, 
expected him to go another four to six weeks, maintaining this strict, super strict diet and refrain from all the things that, you know, that bring them joy or whatever, man. I mean, that's, that's, that's asking a lot. But with the kind of money, I can't even say the kind of money they're going to make because they're not making $15, $20 million. I think it's like million dollar paydays or something, which is, you know, that's a whole other conversation. <clears throat> but... The bottom line is they're expected to be professional and dedicated to the craft and suffer a bit, but um, we'll see what happens, man. But I think for the end, at the end, the end of the day, the inspiration continues, man, with these two women and what they've done for boxing and ultimately what's about to culminate um, on 15 October to see them getting in battle for the 160, un, 160 pound undisputed distinction. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, as far as who I think is gonna win, I've already said that in videos, man. I just think it's a 50-50 fight. I think Shields is going to outbox him, man. And at some point, if Shields decides to stand up and try to prove that she can take Savannah's shots, that's where we have a problem. Because Savannah can fight, man. Savannah can box. She has power. Shields is faster. Shields is shown when she gets into the ring with her opponent. She overwhelms him with just her speed. Um, and, and just she's just a class above all the fighters that she's faced. I don't see that being any different in this fight. I think the problem is going to be her trying to prove that she can take a shot um, and prove that she's a knockout artist, which, you know, Shields is Shields is not a knockout artist. You know what I mean? I think she can, uh, if she happens to catch her with a good shot and buzzer and gets a flurry off and Marshall's just covering up, the referee could assume Marshall's hurt and jump in and stop the fight, and we have a controversial ending. But I think if Savannah Marshall hits... Clarissa Shields clean. And Shields, I don't think it'll be kind of uh, unclear whether she's hurt or not. I think it'll definitely show if Marshall lands, but we'll see, man. You know, we'll see. But I'm picking, I'm picking, I'm picking Shields over the distance. Um, over, I, if it goes to the decision, I pick Shields. But if there's anyone who gets stopped in this fight, I think it would happen between rounds five and round seven. I would say uh, Clarissa Shields would get stopped. Only if she decides to stand there and try to trade and go bomb for bomb. Now, she has the faster hands, but, you know, don't sleep on Marshall and her timing and, have, and her coach. But I, I just, it's just hard for me to go against Shields, even though I think this is a 50-50 fight. I mean... It's just one of those things. But anyway, I just hope the fight happens because both of these girls, both of these women are enjoying themselves and indulging the all-you-can-eat buffet. And it is what it is, man. Chicken and french fries, chicken and chips, fish and chips over there in the UK. They're human. Let them enjoy themselves. But hopefully they make weight on fight night. That being said, y'all keep cool and I'm in the brief.